हॅलो डिअर स्टुडंट्स माय सेल्फ मिस वर्षा रामनाथ पंडित असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी नंबर सिस्टम फ्रॉम डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हॉट इज अ नंबर सिस्टम अ नंबर सिस्टम इज नथिंग बट अ सिस्टम दॅट रिप्रेझेंट्स अ सेट ऑफ नंबर्स ओके और यू कॅन से इट इज अ सेट ऑफ नंबर्स विच डिफाईन्स अ क्वांटिटी फॉर एक्झाम्पल लेट से नंबर ऑफ स्टुडंट्स प्रेझेंट इन अ क्लास ओके अँड द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज नंबर सिस्टम इज अ डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम विच वी यूज इन अवर डे टू डे लाईफ ओके सो यू मस्ट आर व्हेरी वेल अवेअर अबाउट द डेसिमल नंबर सिस्टम system so now we'll see some types of number system so basically there are four types of number system okay first one is a binary number system octal number system decimal number system and a hexadecimal number system okay so we'll start with a binary number system so binary number system it has a base value 2 okay and it has only two numbers that is 0 and 1 that's why it has base value 2 means your binary number system is consist of only two digit that is 0 and 1 the largest value of binary number system is 1 for example the three digit largest value of binary number system is 311 okay because 1 is the largest value of binary number system okay the data that gets processed in our computer system or digital data which gets transmitted into the network is consist of binary data which contains string of binary numbers like 10101 and so on okay so how we write the binary number so uh, see the example that is 10101011 followed by base 2 okay we define the base value there okay now the next type is octal number system the octal number system has base value 8 okay means it contains a number starting from 0 to 7 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 7 okay it has total 8 values that's why the base value is 8 okay and the largest value of octal number system is 7 okay and if i ask you what is the two digit largest octal value then the answer will be double 7 this is the example of octal number system that is 5 4 6 followed by base value 8 now the next number system is decimal number system as i told earlier decimal number system is a number system which we use in our day to day life okay it has a base value 10 starting from 0 to 9 it contains the number 0 to 9 and the largest value of decimal number system is a 9 the example is given in front of you that is 6790 base 10 okay so the If I ask you what will be the three digit largest decimal value then the answer will be triple 9 then hexadecimal number system students hexadecimal number system has a base value 16 this number system is known as alphanumeric number system okay because it contains numbers as well as alphabets okay it contains numbers starting from 0 to 9 and the letters a to f okay means what suppose you want to uh, show the number 10 okay 10 is part of hexadecimal number system but it will be shown or represented by capital a 11 will be shown by capital p 12 is shown by capital c 13 is re- uh, represented by d 14 is represented by e and your 15 is represented by f so the largest value of hexadecimal number system is 15 which is denoted by f okay so see the example fc.9 d base 16 okay as it is alphanumeric numbers so it is combination of your numbers as well as alpha bits okay now now we will see some conversions like binary to octal so base 2 to base 8 okay so let's take one example i have given to you that is 1011 base 2 and we are supposed to convert this into octal what will be the octal value okay so how to convert this number first of all you uh, you are as this is uh, we are supposed to convert this into octal you need to write down the given string that is 1011 you are supposed to divide this into part of 3 right so we will make a group of 
numbers right starting from your lsb to msb so this is my lsb that is one is my M lsb okay so we have made this one group now i will make another group okay so you can see i am lacking two digits so you, we can add zeros here okay so you can add zero here now assign the weightage value in the form of base value okay so as i am having this number is a binary number so i am writing assigning the weightage by writing the base value that is 2 right so i am assigning the weightage here 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 okay again for next group i am i will again assign the values like 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 and 2 raised to 2 okay so now what you are supposed to do what is the value of 2 raised to 2 it is equals to 4 2 raised to 1 is equals to 2 and 2 raised to 0 is equals to 1 if you add these numbers you will find the total is 7 okay because you won't exceed the numbers greater means you will not find the number greater than 7 because this is an octal number system and octal number system the largest value in octal number system is 7 so you will not uh, get the value greater than 7 for each and every group okay now you're supposed to multiply this weightage with the given digit so 4 into 0 will be 0 only plus 2 into 0 again 0 1 into 1 is 1 right so for this group i got the value 1 and for this group again 2 raised to 2 equals to 4 right but again it will be multiplied by 0 so you will get 0 only here 2 raised to 1 is nothing but 2 2 raised to 0 is 1 multiplied by 1 so we got 1 here so we got 3 the value 3 here so if you convert 1011 base 2 into octal, you will get a value 13 base 8. So, this is your binary to octal conversion. I hope everyone has understood this. Okay. Now, the next binary to hexadecimal that is called as a base 2 to base 16. Okay. It is also similar with binary to octal conversion. Just instead of taking 3 digits into one group, you are supposed to take 4 digits into sec, uh, into each and every group. So, suppose I am having number 1011. See, I am not supposed to add any 0, okay? Because I already have 4 digit value in my group 1, okay? So, again, define the weightage value as it is binary to hexa. Again, I am assigning a base value 2, okay? 2 raised to 0, I will start from 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 3. Okay, now again, what is the value of 2 raised to 3? See, value of 2 raised to 3 is nothing but 8, right? Plus, 2 raised to 2 is nothing but 4. Plus, 2 raised to 1 is nothing but 2. And 2 raised to 0 is equals to 1. If you calculate all these values, you will get the total of 15. Why? Because 15 is the largest value of hexadecimal number system which is represented by f means if you are getting a value greater than 9 that is 10 up to 15 then you have to use alphabet only to represent that particular number okay now again so 1 2 raised to 3 is 8 multiplied by 1 will be equals to what 8 plus 0 into anything will be 0 plus 1 into 2 will be 2 plus 1 into 1 is 1. So, what is the total we have got? We have got the total is 11, right? So, 11 is represented by, as I told you earlier, B. Because uh, here values are represented by numbers uh, from the 10 to 15 are represented by alphabets only, right? So, you got the answer B base 16. For this particular, you got the answer B base 16. Okay, I hope this concept is clear with you all. Okay, now the next we will see octal to binary conversion. Okay, it is also known as a base 8 to base 2 conversion. Okay, so we have taken one example that is 764. Now what you are supposed to do, see students, while converting into octal to binary, Okay, while converting into octal to binary, you are supposed to make group of, uh, again you are supposed to write the weightage values. What will be the 4? Convert it into the pattern of 4 plus 2 plus 1. Okay, so for this is the 4, right? So you can write 1 here and for this all you can write a 0. 
ओके वाई आर राइटिंग इन दिस वे बिकॉज फोर इंटू वन इक्वल टू वन सो हाउ आई विल कैलकुलेट फोर इंटू वन फोर प्लस टू इंटू जीरो इज जीरो प्लस वन इंटू जीरो इज जीरो सो आई एम गेटिंग माई वैल्यू फोर दैट्स वाई सो फॉर फोर आई विल गेट वैल्यूज लाइक वन जीरो जीरो ओके फॉर सिक्स ऑल्सो सिक्स सिक्स अगेन राइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फोर प्लस टू प्लस वन सो You are supposed to write in one and zeros form only. Okay, so for four, six as it is six. Four plus two is six, right? So I am writing one, one, and this bit will become zero, right? So what I got for six is double one zero. Then comes seven. Again, write in the form of four two one. Okay, for if you are writing again for four two one, then for the seven you will get the answer like. One one one. Oh, okay. So for seven you got one one one. For six you got one one zero. And for four you got one zero zero. So then at the end combine the answers. Combine the string you got for seven seven sixty four. You got the answer triple one double one zero one double zero base two. So this is the octal to binary conversion. Okay. Now the next Type of conversion is hexadecimal to binary. That is base sixteen to base two. Okay. Now again the procedures is same like octal to binary. Here just you are supposed to convert into or you are supposed to take into four digit values. Okay. So you have example like number is given F C nine, right? So what is the value of F? Is nothing but fifteen. C means Twelve and you are nine. Okay, again you are supposed to put in the form of eight four two one because eight four eight plus four plus two plus one equals to what fifteen, right? So fifteen means all one. Yes. Then you are C. C means twelve. Twelve means one one zero zero. And your nine nines will nine will become. Nine equals to one zero zero one. If you calculate them, you will get this number. So combinedly, we will write the answer base sixteen. Sorry, base. So we will combinedly write the answer base two, right? So for nine, we will write one zero zero one. For C, one one zero zero. For F, all one. So this is your hexadecimal to binary conversion. I hope the today's topic is clear with you all. Thank you so much